Hi there, how's it going? Good to see you. So, I went for a fish yesterday. Uh, we went out to one of the west coast beaches uh, and we caught some kahawai and a couple of gurnard and some snapper and bits and pieces. And I was going to cook them up on the trangia uh, on the beach, but we ran out of daylight and uh, had to come home. So, here I am. Welcome to my backyard. Hope you like it. So, we're going to cook up some fish today, lemon fish on the trangia. So, as per usual, we'll start with uh, unpacking unpacking the trangia. So you guys have seen these before. Great little cook sets that they are. Uh, don't think I need the kettle today. what I will need is the little burner itself. It's there. So what we'll do is we'll um, get some meths and we'll fill that up with methylated spirits. So a good tip here if you've not done this before is if you dilute your meths by about 10% of water uh, you'll find that it won't blacken the bottom of your pots and things like that. It'll burn just the same, but it won't blacken the pots. Oh, yep, there we go, she's going now. Put, uh, put that on like so. And we're going to do this lemon fish on just a bed of noodles. So the first thing we'll do is cook up our noodles. So um, we'll grab the pot. Get some water. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a guy over the way started his lawnmower, so I hope you can't hear that. But anyway, while we're waiting for the water for the noodles to boil, have a look at uh, a little bit more of the fishing trip. See what you think. Stingray. 
Now with stingrays, you've got to be very careful. They've got the tail with the, with the point on the end and uh, can do some damage to you. So we took it off the line and we used the shovel. We slid the shovel underneath the ray and pulled it into the water and, and he swam off no problems at all. So you just got to be a little bit careful like that. But it was a good day out. Thoroughly enjoyed myself. Never been, um, never been fishing before quite like that. So a good bunch of guys and thanks very much. So we're cooking up a New Zealand fish. It's called a kahawai, but a nice firm fish. And we're just going to do a little bit of lemon, a um, few herbs, bits and pieces, and we're going to put it on a bed of noodles. So, well, I think that's starting to boil now. It's starting to look pretty good, I think. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, that's all good. So what we'll do is uh, we'll get our noodles going in there. And uh, we'll just... Drop most of them on the ground, but we'll put the rest in there. Probably should have given them a bit of a smash up, but uh, they'll be okay like that. There we go. Okay, so they, uh, they're they doing their thing, so we'll take them off the heat, like so. We'll just uh, put that lid, that's the lid that comes with the trangia, we'll just put that on there. Now, Get the frying pan on. I don't want it too hot. So we'll just leave it like that. And uh, stick the frying pan on. So those are our fish pieces just there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to give them a uh, sprinkling of some seasoning uh, and then we're just going to fry them off. Pretty simple really. So, so that's what that is. I made that up earlier. So a little bit of dill, a little bit of uh, paprika, um, and some fennel. So dill, paprika and fennel. Um, I mean it's really just to taste. You can you can really do whatever you want to do really and uh, I just like the taste of that. So we'll spread this uh, just over our fish pieces. That pan seems like it's heating up so uh, just put some uh, just a little bit of oil in there. Just like so. Uh, might need to hold that actually, keep it nice and, and steady. And then we just, yeah, there we go. It's looking pretty good, isn't it? So probably, I don't know, maybe three minutes maximum. Might get a bit carried away here. Don't mind that. that. Put a bit more of that in there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, starting to smell pretty good. Don't mind telling you. Gee, that's smelling pretty tasty, actually. Smelling good, isn't it? That's going to be really tasty. I think what I'm going to do just, uh, yeah, that little fella's cooked, and we might just uh, leave him for a second, so just try him out. <laughs> that, that's good stuff, that. Uh, take these out, drain them off a bit. So 
there's a bit too much oil in the bottom of the pan now as you can see so that's a bit better what I want to do now is um, just put the fish back in very quickly and um, I'll be careful I don't want them to burn So just put the simmering on, Whoop. actually put it on, there we go. And what I've got here is uh, just some lemon sauce. So we've just got lemon, sugar, salt and pepper, a little bit of vinegar, and um, just a few other simple stuff to taste, uh, mainly just sweeteners and, uh, and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this through the fish now like so the aim here is really just to heat it through nothing more than that don't have to worry too much about it the fish is well cooked uh, and it's just really heating it through so uh, i think that looks like us we'll just take that off turn that off leave that there for a second so what we need to do now is drain off our noodles and um, Basically, we're ready to go. So, that's our noodles drained over a bit. So, we really just, uh, oops, come on. Noodles like so. And uh, our lemon fish. Look at that. Looking pretty good. And um, there we have it. Lemon fish cooked on noodles on the Trangia. Oh man, that smells good. Let me just um, pull this apart so I can, I can use the fork and try this out. Let me see. Oh, look at that. Fish is cooked perfectly. The lovely tang from the lemons and that nice spicy paprika. And you can just feel the dill and bits and pieces behind it. So, oh yeah. That's actually, if I do say so myself, that's um, it's pretty bloody good, I think. So a very simple dish to cook up. Trick is, fry off that fish with a bit of spice um, before you put the lemons on so you get it nice and cooked through and nice and tasty if you wanted to put in a few stir fry vegetables you could have put some capsicum you could have put uh, some spring onions and a few other bits and pieces in um, I was going to do all that and I was all set to do all that but uh, yeah didn't quite work out like that so my apologies mm. If you want to have a look at um, another very simple recipe for sweet and sour pork, check that video out up there. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Well, cheers. Enjoy it. <laughs> that was pretty good. Not sure how much I got over my mouth and how much I went in my mouth, but I enjoyed that. Oh.